prices on value bonds because we are going to add value to the entire industry. As you well know, um, the cake industry is open to all and sundry. While we welcome everybody, we also want to begin to make sure that we protect our industry and keep away quiet. If you look at ICES as an um, organization, I think they've done very well. Um, they've taken the original ICES, which is a global association. Um, they brought it here to Nigeria. They've ob obviously planted their footprints very solidly in Nigeria. Um, you can see that people have come from all over the nation, you know, just to represent their different zones. And that alone speaks volumes. You know, so I and when you look at the the footfall and the crowd that have been here yesterday and today, um, you can actually tell that there's an impact that's been made. I think there's a lot of work to be done in the cake industry as a whole in Nigeria. Um, there are a lot of gaps and they, it is not a standardized industry. So in my own experience and what I see, we need to come together to try and make sure that, you know, we adhere to global standards and we conduct our businesses in safe, hygienic, because really we're, we're giving food to, public, food to the public to consume. So we have to be careful about the products that we buy, where we buy them from, you know, there's a lot of fake products in the market and we still buy them. So um, we just newly formed an association which is called the Nigeria, Nigerian Association of Cake and Sugar Crop Professionals. And basically that association is going to partner with ISIS, but the focal point of that association is actually to just make sure that, you know, the, the industry in Nigeria, the cake industry in Nigeria, is actually standardized and you know we're practicing as professionals and not quacks you know so um, I think that everybody needs to come together to try and make sure that this happens um, all the stakeholders both from the bakers young and old as well as you know the provider of um, providers of different ingredients and suppliers of tools and all of that in the industry we, are, we also have to work with the regulators as well just to make sure that um, we have an industry that is globally acceptable. Um, so that's where the government actually comes in because we would need them to help us as we drive this narrative of wanting to regulate and standardize the industry. We would need their cooperation, we would need their help. They are the regulators, we would need their guidance you know, where we know that not every cake baker is going to want to come out to present themselves for regulation, but, you know, they have to do it in such a way that it's attractive for people to come and submit themselves to this sort of regulation. When I turned 50, I kind of wanted to tell a story about my journey in the sugar world. And, you know, a lot of times people see me and they say, oh, ah, Mr. Tosa, Mr. Tosa, you know, I want to be like you. And they don't really understand, you know, what transpired in my journey. So I thought that it was, um, it would be very informative for me to catalog and pen down, you know, my story and my journey in, in cakes as a whole, starting from years back and how I climbed to the pinnacle of the industry. So basically, it's just focused on my story, but I didn't really talk about the successes so much. I wanted people to see the failings because people always talk about successes and that's what the glamour stories that people like to hear. But I, I wanted to make an effort to talk about the failures. Um, and that has been a good, a good read. Many people have been blessed by it and you know, it's inspired a lot of people. So as a, as a veteran in this industry, you know, my advice to upcoming bakers and decorators is 
you need to brace up. It's going to be very tough. The industry as it is now is a very competitive and difficult industry to thrive in. Um, you really have to understand what you're bringing to the table. You know, don't bring anything that is mediocre. Don't bring anything that you're copying from somebody else. You need to be, you know, very ingenious and original for you to be able to thrive in the industry today. Hello guys, my name is Tosan Jemide. I represent Cakes by Tosan and of course the CBT Ready to Roll Fondant. And you know, if you need to just get up to date and trendy, you need to keep watching Bakes and Cakes on Tatashe TV. Don't miss it.